Several people along the U.S.-Canada border are concerned about new rules from the Centers for Disease Control about bringing dogs into the United States. They're saying it's going to have a negative impact on the North Country economy and tourism when the rules take effect next month. NBC5's Benny Nezai explains what changes uh, are going to happen and how people are feeling about it. The Cumberland Bay State Park is a very popular spot for Canadian visitors to bring their pet dogs, but with the new CDC regulations set to go into effect, it may make it harder for some tourists. Hello. Brian Ware of Quebec always enjoys having his friend's dog with him whenever he visits northern New York, but with new CDC rules going into effect, he's worried the seven-year-old Maltese won't be able to cross the border anymore. He has his chip, but she hasn't had the papers from the veterinary yet. So she's worried that she's not going to have the papers in time to come to the campground. You know, that's because they're, they're so booked, the veterinaries there. Starting August 1st, the CDC says all dogs entering the U.S. must appear healthy on arrival, be at least six months of age, be microchipped and accompanied by a CDC dog import form online submission receipts. Leaders want the CDC to delay the start of these rules so that more information can be sent out to visitors wanting to enter the U.S. People will just show up at the border uh, with the regular vaccination papers and they are not they don't know about these uh, new requirements that are being put on them, these strict requirements, I might add, and that they were not aware of it. The North Country Chamber of Commerce saying in a statement that these rules don't recognize the regular back and forth travel that takes place at the northern border and the impacts this will have for people wanting to vacation or travel to their second homes with their pets. Officials are working to notify visitors of these new rules, but there are concerns people will be confused if the start date isn't pushed back or the restrictions aren't loosened. We would encourage you know, the CDC to um, help lessen these restrictions. And I think a lot of people are going to be getting phone calls on it saying, you know, what's going on here? What the heck is going on? Local vet clinics say they are getting ready to accommodate to the new regulations. In Plattsburgh, Benny Nezai, NBC5 News.